and he'd ask for your forgiveness, I'm going to make an assumption about you, the viewer. I'm going to assume that you are a professional that's interested in having an impact at work with data. Whether you work in HR or sales, finance, marketing, product management, IT, supply chain, whatever it might be. If this is you, then you're in the right place because this video talks to you about linear regression. And it is an analytic superpower that is useful to any professional. And don't worry, you don't have to have a math background, you don't have to have a coding background to use linear regression with your business data to derive new and interesting insights. And let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are in one of my favorite tools for conducting linear regression analyses, trusty old Excel. And I'm using this tool in this video to emphasize a point. Any professional can learn how to conduct linear regression analyses with their business data. It's actually not that complicated. I don't care if you've never coded before. I don't care if you've never taken any math courses, or maybe you don't remember your math courses from university. Doesn't matter. So in this particular hypothetical example, which by the way is drawn from my real world hands-on experience as an analytics professional, we're going to explore a scenario from digital marketing. So in the digital marketing world, there is a very popular idea, a very common hypothesis that if I spend money on one digital advertising platform simultaneously with another digital advertising platform, so like, for example, Google search ads and Facebook ads, at the same time, they're like chocolate and peanut butter. They are better together. And that's what we're gonna test out. Or as Jack Donaghy from 30 Rock might say, we're gonna see if there's any synergy between these two things. So what we have here is some sample data. Each row is a city. So let's say we conducted a digital marketing campaign across 200 cities in the United States, and we spent money on Google ads. At the same time, we spent money on Facebook ads. These two columns of data represents that spend. And we've got the resulting sales from each one of those cities during the length of the marketing campaign. And lastly, we've got a column of data, which is simply the interaction of the Google spend and the Facebook spend. And if I just click on this, you can see here uh, that it's nothing more than these two numbers multiplied together. With that in place, I can use the analysis tool pack, which is an add-in in Excel to easily conduct a linear regression analysis. Let me go ahead and scroll over and you can see the results of that analysis. So this is the results of the analysis. And maybe to your eye, this looks a little nerdy, this looks a little complicated, but trust me, you can totally learn this. Any professional can learn how to conduct linear regression analyses and interpret this output to understand what's going on in the business. And if this is something that you're interested in, by the way, I do offer a training course on linear regression with Excel aimed at any professional, regardless of your role or background. If you're interested in that, just go ahead and look in the description below the video and you can get a link to that course. I can't drain this, all of this output for this video. So let's just talk about what really matters in terms of the analysis, which are these things right here. What this tells us is in no uncertain terms is that yes, based on the data that we have, based on this particular digital marketing campaign that we executed, there is synergy between Google advertising and Facebook advertising. And let me show you what I mean. So what this tells you right here, the intercept tells you right here is that based on the data, if we spent no money at all on ads, we would get $6,700 in sales, $6,750-ish dollars in sales if we spent no money on digital ads, based on the data that we have, by the way, based on the data that we have. And it also says, hey, look, for every dollar that you spend on Google ads, you return back $19 in sales. That's pretty good. And it also says, oh, but you know what? For every dollar that you spent on Facebook ads, you made $28.86 in sales. Once again, based on the data that we have, that's always true, right? Just based on the data we have. And then lastly, this synergy effect shows that, yeah, there's actually some uplift here. If we do ads on Google and Facebook at the same time within one of these 200 US cities that was part of our data, we get a small uplift. We get an extra 
uh, 8.7 cents approximately, which is, which is not bad. Now notice that all three of these numbers are contingent on everything going on at the same time. So Google, Facebook, Google, Facebook spent all of it going on at the same time. But what this shows you is that, yeah, at least in terms of this campaign, not only did our digital advertising give us great ROI, but there's also a synergistic effect. We should probably always default to running Google and Facebook ads simultaneously, at least based on this particular piece of data. That is wildly interesting and wildly cool stuff. And you don't need a math degree. You don't need a computer science degree to do this. Linear regression analysis, truly an analytic superpower for any professional, regardless of your role or your background. Next up in the series, we're gonna be talking about machine learning. And don't freak out, just like linear regression, machine learning is a wildly useful analytic superpower for any professional. When that video is ready, it's gonna show up either either here or here. Until next time, please stay healthy, and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.